Managing your calendar and planning meetings can be a nightmare that can end in a flurry of emails and frustration. Using your Valpo Google Calendar can make the process of requesting appointments and setting up meetings a painless process. Today's training tip will focus on the Find a Time feature in your Google Calendar. To start, access your calendar. If you are already signed into your Valpo Gmail account, use the Apps icon in the top right corner of your email and select Calendar. Once you are in your calendar, click on the Create button in the top left corner. This will open the Event Details screen where you can begin to set up the meeting details. It is suggested to start with adding your preferred date, time, and meeting length. Now the next step is to invite the meeting attendees by typing their email address or addresses for multiple attendees in the Add Guests area on the right. Once all of your participants have been added, you can now view your meeting against all of the guests' calendars using the Find a Time tab just under the date and time selection for the meeting. You may now move the blue bar around within the day or move from day to day using the arrows above the comparison screen. Clicking in a vacant spot will automatically update the meeting event time and date. You may return back to the event details screen at any time by clicking on event details tab on the top. Another helpful tool can be used on the event details tab if you have a larger group or if you're looking for a particular time where all attendees are available based on their schedule. You can follow the same steps of inviting the attendees, but this time you can use the link for suggested times. If a time in the list is acceptable, you can click on it from the list and your meeting will automatically be updated. These two tools can be extremely helpful when trying to set up a meeting with a professor, a department meeting with several attendees, or a larger group meeting. If you have any comments about this tool, please include them in the comments section below. We would also love to know what other tools you would like to see in these short video tutorials. On behalf of the Office of Information Technology, thank you for spending a few moments with us today.